हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द माई चैनल विच इज लर्निंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कम्प्लीट रिविजन ऑफ लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म विच इज़ अ इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिफिनीशन ऑफ लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म लेट्स एफ ऑफ टी बी ए गिवेन फंक्शन ऑफ टी डिफाइंड बाई ऑल टी ग्रेटर और इक्वल टू जीरो then the laplace transform of ft denoted by l of f of t or f of s or f prime s is defined as phi s and this is equal to 0 to infinite e to the power minus st f of t dt so l of ft equal 0 to infinite e to the power minus st f of t dt provided the integral exist where s is a parameter real or complex laplace transform of some elementary functions to so, laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 upon s proof by definition we can write l of 1 l of 1 equal to 0 to infinite e to the power minus st into into f of t f of t so here here is f of t is 1 f of t is 1 so f of t is 1 and after integrating we get e to the power minus s t upon s and limit 0 to infinite so finally we get 1 upon s where s greater than 0 Also, Laplace transform of e to the power e t equal one upon s minus a. Prove कर सकते हैं by definition. This can be written as this. And after integrating, we get this. And applying the limit, finally we get one upon s minus a. Here also s greater than e. Laplace transform of e to the power minus a t similarly one upon s plus a where s is greater than minus a and Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic a t equal sine s equal a upon s square minus a square so, proof कर सकते हैं we have sine hel sine hyperbolic a t equal e to the power a t minus e to the power minus a t upon two and cos hyperbolic a t Equal e to the power eighty plus e to the power minus eighty upon two. So by definition, L of sine of hyperbolic eighty equal this. And by using the two and three formula, we get this. And after solving, finally we get e upon s square minus a square. Similarly, L of cos hyperbolic eighty equal s upon s square minus a square. so the some difference here a upon s square minus a square or here s upon s square minus a square now laplace of sin of at equal a upon s square plus a square and laplace of cos of at equal s upon s square plus a square where s greater than 0 proof we know that e to the power ix equal cos x plus i sin x Euler formula. So we can write e to the power i a t equal cos of a t plus i sine a t. Then Laplace, taking Laplace, we get this Laplace of e to the power i a t equal one upon s minus i a. After rationalizing, we get this, and by separating real and imaginary part, we get this. so on equating real and imaginary part we get laplace of sin at equal to a upon a is s square plus a square and laplace of cos at equal s square upon s square plus a square where s greater than 0
लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ टी पावर एन इज इक्वल टू गामा गामा एन प्लस वन अपॉन एस पावर एन प्लस वन और वी कैन राइट एज एन फैक्टोरियल अपॉन एस टू द पावर एन प्लस वन प्रूफ लाप्लास ऑफ टी पावर एन इक्वल जीरो टू इन्फेनाइट इट टू दावर माइनस एस टी एंड दिस इज द एफ ऑफ टी सो वी कैन पुट हियर टी टू द पावर एन डी टी putting एस टी इक्वल यू एंड आफ्टर सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस वे गेट एंड आफ्टर सॉल्विंग एंड फाइनली वी गेट द एन फैक्टोरियल अपॉन एस टू द पावर एन प्लस वन वेर एन इक्वल जीरो वन टू डॉट डॉ डॉट दिस इज द गामा फंक्शन which is a very important function used in integration process example evaluate laplace of e to the power minus 3t and second question laplace of e to the power 60 so by definition we can write laplace of e to the power 3t minus 3t as e to the power minus 3t laplace of e to the power minus 3t equal e to the power minus 3t into e to the power minus st and then after integrating we get this similarly 1 upon s minus 6 first the shifting theorem so first shifting shifting theorem is that if l of ft if l of ft equal f bar s that means l of ft equal f bar s then laplace of e to the power at laplace of e to the power at of ft equal f bar s minus a प्रूफ बाई डेफिनेशन हम ये फार्मूला वहाँ यूज करते हैं जहाँ फंक्शन हमारा थोड़ा और कॉम्प्लिकेटेड होता है जैसे अभी हमने एल ऑफ एफ टी निकाल रहा था निकाल रहे थे हम लोग तो एफ ऑफ टी एक टी का फंक्शन था जिसके ऊपर हमने लाप्लास लगाया तो वो हमें एफ प्राइम एस या एफ डैश एस या एफ बार एस दे रहा था लेकिन अभी जो फंक्शन है वो एफ ऑफ टी मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू दी पावर ए so this is a complex function so l of e to the power at of f of t by definition we can write as and after solving index and then we put it here s minus a equal r we get this f of f dash r एफ डैश आर एफ बार आर इक्वल एफ बार और आर आर इज इक्वल एस माइनस ए देन फाइनली वी गेट एल ऑफ लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ई टू दावर ए टी एफ ऑफ टी इक्वल एफ ऑफ एस माइनस ए सिमिलरली वी कैन प्रूफ L of e to the power minus at f of t equal f bar s plus a. Clear? For example, Laplace of e to the power minus 3t cos of 4t. So first we find L of f t. L of f t, where f t is cos 4t. This is equal this is equal f of t and then we use the shifting formula so we can find laplace of e to the power minus c t into cos 4t equal s plus 3 
अपॉन एस प्लस थ्री का होल स्क्वायर प्लस फोर स्क्वायर हियर लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ई टू दी पावर ए टी इज इक्वल टू एफ बार एस माइनस ए एंड यस लाप्लास ऑफ ई टू दी पावर माइनस ए टी इज इक्वल टू एस प्लस ए सो वी कैन सी दैट द ए इज सम बाई एस सो हियर थ्री इज एडिंग सो वी पुट हियर एस एस प्लस थ्री इन प्लेस ऑफ एस एस प्लस थ्री इन प्लेस ऑफ एस क्लियर एस प्लस थ्री इन प्लेस ऑफ एस हियर एंड हियर सो दिस इज द फाइनल रिजल्ट ऑफ लाफलास ऑफ ई टू दी पावर माइनस थ्री टी एंड कॉस फोर टी सिमिलरली वी कैन फाइंड लाफलास ई टू दी पावर टू टी एंड कॉस हाइपरबोलिक टू टी फर्स्ट वी फाइंड लाफलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी एंड एफ ऑफ टी इज इक्वल कॉस ऑफ हाइपरबोलिक टू टी विच इज इक्वल टू दिस एंड देन यूजिंग शिफ्टिंग फर्स्ट शिफ्टिंग थ्रूरम वी गेट लाफलास ऑफ ई टू दी पावर टू टी कॉस फोर टी इक्वल दिस मच simply we put s minus 2 in place of s yes minus 2 in place of s second shifting theorem if l of ft equal f bar s then laplace of f of t minus a u of t minus a is equal e to the power minus a s f bar s and e to the power minus a s l of ft so this is equal l of ft simple and similarly here example laplace of e to the power minus 3t u of t minus 2 so we can suppose here f of t is equal 3 power e power e power minus 3t e power minus 3t and a is equal to this is a a equal to 2 so laplace of e to the power minus 3t e to the power minus 3t e u of t minus 2 equal e to the power minus 2s in previous we can see e to the power minus as where a is 2 here e is 2 So e to the power minus two is Laplace of e to the power minus three t plus two. Using this formula, this formula. so after solving e to the power minus 3t into e to the power minus 6 e to the power minus 6 taken out and laplace of e to the power minus 3t is equal this 1 upon s plus 3 and after solving finally we get e to the power minus 2 s plus 3 upon s plus 3 so the answer is the laplace transform of e to the power minus 3t u t to the t of minus u of t minus 2 equal e to the power minus 2 s plus 3 upon s plus 3 similarly laplace similarly we can find the laplace inverse 
एस ऑफ ई टू दावर माइनस टू एस अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस पाई स्क्वायर बाई शिफ्टिंग थ्योरम आगे हम डिस्कस करेंगे इनवर्स के बारे में एल इनवर्स ऑफ ई टू दावर माइनस ए एस एफ बार एस इक्वल एफ ऑफ टी माइनस ए यू टी माइनस ए एल इनवर्स दिस इक्वल दिस यू टी माइनस ए इज हेयर and f of t minus s is equal to this l inverse s of s square plus pi square and this is equal to this and finally we get this Now differentiation and integration of Laplace transform. Differentiation of Laplace transform. If L of f of t equal f bar s, then L of t power n f of t equal minus one to the power n d to the power n ds power n f bar s, where n equal one to three. Dot dot dot. So if t to the power n, then minus one to the power n and d s to the power n. Integration of Laplace transform. If l of f t equal f bar s and f of t upon t has the Laplace transform, then Laplace of f of t upon t is equal to zero to infinite f bar s d s. This is also important formula. Having function of this type f of t upon t like sine a t upon t sine a t upon t. So this is of the type f of t by t. The Laplace of this we can find by using this. Example of Laplace multiplication. Laplace of t square e to the power 80. So we can use the previous formula minus 1 to the power 2. This is t power 2. So minus 1 to the power 2 d2 upon ds2 1 upon s minus a. This is a l of e to the power 80. L of e to the power 80. So after derivative, we get this, and final, finally, again differentiating with respect to s, we get this. So final result is the Laplace of t square e to the power 80 is equal 2 upon s minus 3 ka whole cube. Similar, similarly. Example of Laplace integration. Laplace of sine of omega t upon t. We know that the sine of omega t is equal to this much. This is f of t and s to infinite f of s ds. So sine of omega t. If Laplace of sine of omega t. If we put If we put f of t equal to sine omega t, then we get f bar f s is equal to omega upon s square plus omega square. So this is the same formula as we discussed previous. The s to the s to infinite, and this is f bar s and d s. And after integrating, after integrating, we get. After integrating, we get this. Putting limit, and then finally we get. And pi by two minus tan inverse. This is equal to cot inverse, s by omega. So here we using this formula. This formula. 
and sin of omega t is equal to f of t here this sin of omega t is equal to f of t then l of f t equal this omega upon s square plus omega square clear evaluation of integrals by laplace transform example 0 to infinite t e to the power minus 3t cos t dt so l of f t we know that by definition l of f t equal e to the power minus s t f of t dt limit 0 to infinite here s is equal 3 and suppose f of t equal t cos t so s is equal 3 and f of t equal t cos t So we can write as L of cos of t, L of t of cos t equal this by definition and we have already that Laplace of cos t equal s upon s square plus 1 and then using the power formula L of t cos t equal minus 1 and t to the power 1 so here minus 1 to the power 1 which is not showing here s upon s square plus 1 and after derivative after differentiating we get this and finally this after solving so here s is s is equal to 3 we find this expression and in the, here in this question s is equal to 3 so put it here s equal to 3 so 3 square is 9 9 minus 1 upon 9 plus 1 ka whole square so this is e to the power minus st L of T of cos AT equal this e to the power minus 3T T cos T DT and equal S square minus 1 upon S square plus 1. Here S is 3. S is equal 3. This is S is equal to 3. So we put S equal to 3. 3 square minus 1 and 3 square plus 1 ka whole square and this is the final answer so this is the answer of this integration that is 0 to infinite t to the power minus 3t cos t dt is equal to 2 upon 25 clear Laplace transform of derivatives and integrals Laplace transform of the derivative of ft Suppose if uh, ft is continuous for all t greater or equal to 0 and f dash t is a piecewise continuous then L of f dash t exists provided limit provided limit is equal to 0 and also L of f dash t equal s of L of f of t minus f of 0 and this is equal L of f of t equal to f bar s f bar s minus f of 0 so in general we can write Laplace of f to the power n dt so this is the derivative of f t f of t is nothing but f of t is nothing but the derivative of f t which is discussed earlier so f of dash f dash t is equal to derivative of f of t similarly f of n t is the nth derivative of f of t and this is equal this so Laplace of derivative of 
nth nth derivative of ft is equal to this much i repeat laplace of derivative of nth or we can say nth derivative of f of t laplace of nth derivative of f of t is equal to this much laplace transform of the integration of f of t is the following if l of t equal to a bar s then l of 0 to t l of 0 to t f of u du equal f of f bar s upon s also l inverse inverse laplace transform 1 by s f bar s equal 0 to t f of u du this is the another important formula we can find a simply transfer here or L is transfer here L inverse 1 by S F of S is equal to this this is L is here so becomes L inverse 1 upon S 1 upon S F of S equal to 0 to T F of U du this is also an important formula so remember example derivative laplace transform of sin at to let f of t equal sin of at then f dash t is equal after derivative after differentiating we get f dash t equal a cos at and again differentiating we get this also f of 0 equal 0 and f dash 0 equal a from here f dash 0 equal a so laplace of minus a square this is the derivative of f of t this is the question derivative laplace transform of sin at laplace transform of minus a square sin of at is equal to this and after solving we get this finally L of sin of at equal to a upon s square plus a square so this is important formula similarly we can find here is equal sign example and this is equal yeah, dash dash simple this is another example so L of 0 to t cos u du so first we suppose uh, f of u equal cos u and then solve L of 0 to t c mm, cos u du is equal to this by using the previous formula this this formula So if you try, you try, you can do it. Application to differential equations in Laplace. For example, y double dash plus 4y equals 0. Given y of 0 equal 1, y dash 0 equals 6. So by definition, we can write L of yt equal L of y of t that is Laplace of y of t y is a function like f so Laplace of f of t or Laplace of y of t is similar here we use the different notation only so y is nothing but f so l of y of t equal y of s and suppose y equal to f bar this is same as the previous and then L of y dash t that is derivative of y of t Laplace of second derivative of 
y of t and similarly the laplace of third derivative of t is equal to this much so taking the laplace transform of both sides of the given question so l of y double dash plus 4 laplace of y equal to 0 so this is equal equal to this and plus 4 l of y equal to 0 and this is from here this is l of laplace of double derivative of y of t so this term is equal this term plus 4 y of s equal to 0 and after solving and rearranging we get the y s equal to this and taking inverse laplace transform we get this here is not y s no it is right this is right y of s equal to this and taking inverse laplace transform we get this finally cos of 2 t plus 3 upon 2 sin 2 t here taking both side l inverse l inverse l inverse y of s equal to l inverse cos 2t plus 3 by 2 sin 2t so we get the final result this no 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 we get this laplace inverse l of inverse equal to l of inverse is s upon s square plus 4 and plus 6 upon s square plus 4 and this is the result so y of ft equal this this is equal y of ft y of t y of t and this is the final result so the solution of this solution of this question is this this equal to y of t so i hope uh, this is clear clear laplace transform of periodic functions so suppose a function is of the type of periodic like a uh, sin omega t cos omega t types by definition a function f of t is said to be periodic function with period uh, p greater than 0 so if f of t plus t p equal f of t for all t greater than 0 the laplace transform of a piecewise continuous periodic function f of t with period p is l of f t equal remember this formula l of f of t equal 1 upon e to the power minus One upon one minus e to the power minus p s zero to p e to the power minus s t f t d t s greater than zero. Find the Laplace transform of f of t mod of sine omega t where t is greater than or equal to zero. So f of t equal to sine omega t, and uh, after mod breaking is uh, zero to t is between 0 to pi by omega or we can say w and f of t plus pi by w equal f of t for all t now now 0 to 0 to pi by omega or w e to the power minus st 
into sine w t d t equal this here we using the integration formula directly which is this so e to the power a t sin sin b t equal to this form and finally we get to this and taking Laplace transform of this we get this and after rearranging finally we get the w upon s square plus w square cot of hyperbolic s pi upon 2w unit step function u of t minus a equals 0 when t less than a and u of t minus a equal to 1 when t greater or equal to a laplace of u of t minus a is equal to by definition and then by rearranging and finally on integrating we get this now if a equal to 0 then l of u of t equal to 1 by s l of u of t equal to 1 by s express the following function in terms of unit step function and also find its uh, find its laplace transform for example f of t equal t to the power um, f of t equal t minus 1 where 1 is less than t less than 2 and 3 minus t where 2 less than t less than 3 so given f of t is equal to this So in terms of uh, unit step function, we can explain as, expand, expand as, and after multiplying, we get this, and then by using this formula, this formula, we get the final result L of this L of f of t equal e to the power minus s upon s square minus 2 upon e to the power minus 2s plus upon s square plus e to the power minus 3s upon s square So this is 2, this is t minus 2, so this 2 is uh, here, minus 2 is, and t minus 3, this is 3, right, t minus 3, 3, t minus 2, 2, t minus 1, e to the power minus s, clear, if t minus 1, u t minus 1 is equal, so e to the power as as means e to the power minus s simple e to the power minus s when u is a function of t minus 2 when u is a function of t minus 2 then after taking laplace transform we get e to the power minus 2s and similarly if u is a function of t minus 3 then after taking laplace we get e to the power minus 3s this is clear Dirac delta function so we define a new term which is known as the Dirac delta function defined as del of t minus a is equal to limit epsilon tending to 0 equal to 0 when t is between minus infinite to a and 1 upon epsilon a when a when t is between a and a plus epsilon and equal to 0 when t is between a plus epsilon to infinity and taking laplace transform of this we get this
and the Laplace of del of t derived delta function is equal to 1 so this formula is really important and this is the direct delta function so you have to remember this relation these relations so we can find the Laplace transform by direct delta function for example tq del t minus 4 so here a is equal to a is equal to 4 a is equal to 4 so Laplace transform of t to the power 3 del t minus 4 is equal to 0 to infinite e to the power minus st so this is by definition and after using the derived delta function Laplace transform we get this here we using this formula this formula so this is the final result so Laplace transform of TQ del of t minus 4 equal 4 of q e to the power minus 4s so this solution is really very easy because of direct delta method inverse Laplace transform by definition we have already that uh, Laplace of f of t equal f bar s then f of t is called f of t is called the inverse Laplace transform of f bar s and it is denoted by this l inverse f of s equal f of t l inverse f of f bar of s equal f of t some standard Laplace inverse formulas are the following so this is one equal one equal l inverse 1 by s t to the power n equal l inverse n factorial upon s to the power n plus 1 where n equal 1 to 3 e to the power a t equal l inverse 1 upon s minus a sine of k t equal l inverse k upon s square plus k square cos of k t equal l inverse upon l inverse s upon s square plus k square sine of hyperbolic k t equal l inverse k upon s square minus k square and similarly cos of hyperbolic a t equal l inverse s upon s square minus k square so this formula also remember all the formula this is very important very very important example of Laplace inverse example L inverse upon s L inverse of 1 upon s to the power 5 this is equal L inverse of this equal 1 upon 4 factorial L inverse 4 factorial upon s to the power 5 and after solving we get this so here we using this formula t to the power n clear Similarly, Laplace inverse of minus 2s plus 6 upon s square plus 4. So first we separate minus 2s upon s square plus 4 plus 6 upon s square plus 4. And then taking the Laplace inverse in both the term, we get this. So this is the final result of this. Laplace inverse by partial differential form for example L inverse 1 upon s plus 3 s plus 2 and s so here first we 
सेपरेट दिस टर्म बाई पार्सियल मेथड दैट इज वन अपॉन एस प्लस वन एस प्लस टू एस इक्वल ए अपॉन एस प्लस वन प्लस बी अपॉन एस प्लस टू प्लस सी अपॉन एस एंड देन बाई पार्सियल मेथड वी कैन गेट ए ए इक्वल माइनस वन बी इक्वल हाफ एंड सी इक्वल हाफ देन पुट पुट हियर So this is L inverse. My a upon s plus one, a is minus one. B upon s plus two. So b is half upon s plus two. C is half upon s. And after taking Laplace inverse, in this term we get the final result as. Using inverse formula. This formula. So one of the uh, one other important uh, theorem is the convolution theorem. Convolution theorem. If L inverse f of f bar s equal f of t and L inverse g bar s equal g t, then by convolution theorem we can write inverse laplace transform of product of both the function f bar s and g bar s equal to 0 to t f of u g t minus u this can also be written as 0 to t g of u into f of T minus u, f of t minus u. Simply f of t minus u. So that means f and g can be interchanged. F direct product z, or simply we can write f of t is product by g of t example of convolution theorem in inverse laplace example l inverse 1 upon s square s minus 1 so we take as 1 upon s square is a f bar s and the another term 1 upon s minus s equal to g bar of s and then find its inverse laplace transform so first we find this is equal l of t and this is equal l of so first we find 1 upon s square is equal to l of t and then 1 upon s minus 1 equal to l of e to the power t then using convolution theorem to so l inverse 1 upon s square s minus 1 equal l inverse this is 1 by s and this so here l of t is f bar s and l of e to the power t is g bar s so by definition we can write as as by using this formula this formula this is and after solving we get simple integration then taking limit similar example this also can be done can be done by convolution theorem first we take f of t and this is f of t and this is g of t and then by using convolution theorem we can solve this so solve yourself this is simply integration simple integration by part 
तो आज की वीडियो में सिर्फ इतना ही आई होप कि समझ में आया होगा अगर बार बार आप देखेंगे तो ज़रूर समझ में आएगा अगर कोई चीज़ें ना समझ में आए हो तो आप कमेंट में बता सकते हैं या फिर आप रिपीट करके देखेंगे तो ज़रूर समझ में आएगा आज का वीडियो देखने के लिए धन्यवाद थैंक यू